goodness. Open your mouth and appreciate the Lord that provided food on your table. The Lord that pro protects you or your going and your coming. The Lord that made a way for you where there seems to be no way. The Lord that gave you the breath of life that woke you up from the side of your bed this morning. I appreciate God because it's worthy. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him adoration. Father, we thank you. Father, Lord, we thank you because you are ever faithful. Thank you, Father, Lord, because you never fail us. Thank you, Father, for your mercy towards us, O oh Lord. We magnify your name, everlasting King of glory. Be thou exalted, be thou magnified in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift you high. You are worthy to be praised and adored. You are worthy to be exalted. Open your mouth and just appreciate God this morning. Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We worship you. We lift you high. You are worthy, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7 reads, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto the Lord. We are here this morning to make our request known unto the Lord for another week and the rest of this month and the rest of this year. So let us come before him with thanksgiving because we know in giving thanks. Uh, by the time we request from him, he's going to answer us. Open your mouth and give thanks one more time to the king of glory. Thank him for what he has done, for keeping you from last Sunday till this time. All the things that has happened in course of this week, evil things that has happened, none is your portion. The Bible says, Ten shall fall that as it will not come near our dwelling. You have been walking and going everywhere. We hear of it, but it's not our portion. It is not because you are better than them. It is the grace of God that is sufficient. Uh, open your mouth and say, Father, Lord, we give you thanks. Father, Lord, we thank you because you always hear us. We thank you for your protection and your mercy. Be thou exalted, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we pray. I'm going to read from Ruth of First John chapter 1 and verse 9 to 10. It says, if we confess our sins, it's faithful and just to forgive. Forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unri unrighteousness. Verse 10. If we say that we have no sin, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So this morning I want us to go before the Lord because the Bible says that if we, if we say we have no sin, we are liars. Let's go before the Lord this morning and ask him to forgive us. And the verse 9 says if we confess our sin, he's faithful and just. So it's, a, it's an open check for you this morning. It's a blank check unto you. He's not even saying you have to do something or you have to do that. He just says if you confess, open your mouth this morning and confess. Tell the Lord what you have done that is bad. Tell him those things that you don't even remember, that you don't even do did or know that is sin. Ask the Lord to have mercy upon you. Ask him to forgive your sins. Ask him to purify you. Ask him to cleanse every unrighteousness in you. Father Lord, we come before you this morning, even as individual, even as a church, we cry for mercy. The mercy of everyone here. Father, Mark, with every sin that we have committed, we cry for your mercy. We pray that you have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus. Even as a church, every sin that we have committed, knowingly and unknowingly, we cry for mercy. Father Lord, Lord, have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus. Forgive our unrighteousness, O oh Lord. Forgive our sins, O oh Lord. Cleanse us from every unrighteousness. Purify us, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's go to the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 16 to 17. He says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. We're going to go before the Lord and say the word of God that we come for today. Let it enrich my heart in the name of Jesus. Let it enrich me with so much wisdom that we carry me for the next week. Can we carry me for the rest of this month? The Bible said the word of God is powerful. It's sharper than two-edged sword. Let us where the word of God will come to us with, with power in the name of Jesus. It will, give, it will enrich us in his wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we cry, O oh Lord, as your word comes forth today, oh my God, let it enrich our souls. Let it enrich our destiny. Let it minister to us, even at the very point of our need. Let it enlighten us. Let it take us higher than where we are right now in the name of Jesus. Let the Spirit of the Lord minister his word through his servant. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
we're going to commit the servants of the Lord to the hand of the Lord, that the Lord himself will use him mightily this morning, that the Lord will speak through him in the name of Jesus, that the power of the, of the word will come forth through him in the name of Jesus, to heal and to deliver in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, Lord, we lift your servant up, O Lord, my God. Father, speak through him in the name of Jesus. Minister through him in the name of Jesus. Let send a word through him, a word for our situation in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the manifestation of your power through your word today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Manifest yourself, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's go to the book of John 14 and verse 16. John 14 and verse 16. He says that we pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Can we go to 26 of the same verse? But the comforter which is the Holy Spirit who the Father will send in his name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. We're going to go before the Lord this morning and ask for the Holy Spirit, the comforter, the teacher to come and dwell in our midst in another way, in a new way, in a new dimension because you know the Holy Spirit is already here. You're going to invite him into your life, into your being. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit will invite you here in the name of Jesus. I invite you into my life in the name of Jesus. Come and help me today in the name of Jesus. Come and come and enable us in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, fill us up in the name of Jesus. Fill us up in the name of Jesus. Saturate this arena in the name of Jesus. Manifest yourself in our midst in the name of Jesus. Move like never before in the name of Jesus. Touch each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. That we may not go back the same in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we surrender the service unto you. Do that which you do best in the name of Jesus. Lord, glorify yourself, O Lord, in our midst, in the life of of everyone here today in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Everlasting Father, we thank you, Lord, for another time in your presence. And we pray, Father, Lord, that you will move in the name of Jesus. We invite you, Lord, mightily in our midst this day, that in the midst of our praise, in the midst of our worship, we inhabit in the name of Jesus. You will deliver your people and send your blessing upon us in the name of Jesus. We pray that in today's service, our coming will not be in vain in the name of Jesus. Everything we have asked of you, Lord, you will give us answers in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory. We magnify your name, O Lord. Be thou lifted, be thou exalted, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Somebody shout a bigger amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's get in a spirit of worship this morning because he brought us here safe and sound. He didn't let any accident come before us when he was driving here. He woke us up in good health. He didn't wake us up in illness. We didn't have to go to the hospital today. Let's give him all the praise. Hallelujah. Let's lift our hands and worship. Father, we worship Thank you. Lord. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name.
hands and shoes? Yes. Got, okay, let's go, let's go. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Come and join me. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Oh, Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Come and join me, oh. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Speed up the 
Oh, 
him. Thank him for all he has done. God has been so faithful to us. God makes way where there's no way. Father, we are here this morning reference you. The psalm says in Psalm 103, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Forget not all his benefit. Anytime you forget the benefit, you'll be granted. There's nothing you can do of your own. No wonder the Bible says, with strength shall no man prevail. Let us open our mouth and just magnify his name. Appreciate him this morning. Daddy, I thank you. My teacher, Holy Spirit, I usher you in this morning. Thank you for your doing on this mountain joy overflow. Ma peka rose gede sondaye. Ye pari mazi gaduza. Kake no bo rose gede ye. Lord, move in our midst these days. Let your power descend in our midst. Do what no man can do. What pastors cannot do, Lord. Rot it in our midst, Lord. Ma peka rose de ye. Thank you, Lord. We worship your majesty. We exalt your holy name. Thank you, Devi. For in Jesus' precious name, we worship. Put your hand together for the Lord as we have our seat. You are welcome this day to Joy Overflow International Ministry, also known as Rabboni House, where kings are raised to reign. Hallelujah. Like I always say, you are not here by an accident. God orchestrated it. And the purpose why you are here, Jehovah God, will manifest it upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank, we appreciate God for a year. Tag, I am more than conqueror. Hallelujah. And you are welcome to the month of visitation. Hallelujah. From the beginning of this month, I begin to see the mighty hand of God. I don't know about you. I'm telling you, I'm full of testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's this word of God that came to my heart about two, three days ago. Sincerely speaking, it's so heavy in my, in my heart. And I want to share it this morning. I know this word is for, is for somebody. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6. I want every one of us to listen attentively, please. 
I know the church will be filled before this, the end of the service. Hallelujah. People will start coming. We understand American system. Coming late. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord our God spake unto us in Horeb, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this mountain. You have dwelt long enough. Many of us, we are planning to make decisions. And we have stayed long on this issue. The decision is not coming forth. We are just killing time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Some of us want to take a step of faith to start something. The fear factor has caged us. So we always tell to ourselves, it's better for me to stay where I am now. But should I tell you this morning, if you don't fail, you don't succeed. Success is in failure. Hallelujah. Come and show me the man that has succeeded in life. I will show you the man that have failed many times. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. The Bible said the path of the doors is like shining light, shining more and more. It doesn't matter how it looks. You have destined to shine. Take a step of faith. Move forward. God is saying to you and me this morning, we have tarried too long on that decision, on that move. It is time to move forward. Tell your neighbor, move forward. Move forward. Everybody is waiting for your manifestation. And you are the only one Disturbing the manifestation of God over your life. Because we are not yielding to the spirit. Hallelujah. Where we are is a place of comfort to us. The stagnant waters think. Hallelujah. God is telling you this morning. You can achieve more. You can conquer more. Don't be satisfied with little. It is time to go forward. We are running to the middle of the year. Where you are going to examine yourself to see the doing of God in your life. God is telling you and me this morning. If you don't hear anything from me this morning, God says, it is time to move forward. We have stayed long where we are. Make that decision. And should I tell you, you will not fail. You will not fall. You will not fall down. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please, let us rise to our faith as we sing the Congregational hymn, hold the fort, O oh my comrade. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
Let us have a seat, please. So we have a special number titled, So Good. Jesus has been so good to us. And we are, to, we are here to express our gratitude for his faithfulness upon each and every one of us, upon the church of God, in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless the, the song in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are so good to me, Jesus. You are so good to me. Jesus, you are so good to me. In all circumstances, oh, oh, oh. dependable, dependable God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Intentional God Everything Everything is working up for my good Everybody sing it Dependable Dependable God It doesn't matter what comes it my way matter, My way You are still God You are intentional God Intentional Intentional God Jesus, you are so good to 
Jesus is good to us. Hallelujah. Church, please, can we appreciate the choir? Hallelujah. Please, let us appreciate. Appreciation brings encouragement. Hallelujah. God is moving well in our means. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Choir, God bless you this morning. The desire of your heart, my God that I serve, we grant it in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful encouragement. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, let us bow our head this morning. As we come on with the Holy Spirit, the preacher has no message that we deliver and that we reach the heart of the people without the Holy Spirit. So not Victor this morning has the Holy Spirit to speak to you. Holy Spirit, speak to me through the pastor. Let your word inspire me. Let your word deliver me. Let your word gain entrance into my heart. The Bible says, the entrance of the world giveth light. Lord, let me see light in your word this morning. Holy Spirit, I surrender my totality unto you. I back out this morning. Daddy, speak through me. My teacher, let your people be blessed. Let them see what you have shown me that I'm operating in. Lord, because you are not a respecter of a person, let eyes be opened this morning and let every ignorance be destroyed in the precious name of Jesus. People of God, this morning I'm going to be talking to you briefly titled, Right Decision. Right Decision. Something happened about two, three weeks ago and that is what brought this message. I lost a friend. And God began to speak to me in a new dimension. And before I go further this morning, I have a sister in the house. Hallelujah. I have Dr. Titi Akimbola. Mom, please, can you stand? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I can say categorically I'm part of our prayer point. Hallelujah. In 70s, she know God. She has been born again early year. And you know, then you see us as if, ah, and you're my, I pray you know God. Hallelujah. And I told her, I said, by the mighty hand of God, every one of us, God will envelope us. We will all be in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. We welcome you, ma. God bless you. Hallelujah. So by the help of my teacher this morning, I'm going to be talking about the right decision. Hallelujah. Turn your Bible with me. Deuteronomy 30 verse 19. Every one of us will know about this scripture. Where God called heaven and night on us. Because many say, oh, it's Old Testament. It's still the same thing. That is the part to the covenant that we have with Christ. Hallelujah. That is the part to the grace that we are enjoying in this day. Hallelujah. And I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, but not against us. It's for us. Hallelujah. That is why Jesus Christ came. Hallelujah. That I have said before you life and wealth. So every issue of destiny is life and death. But God encourage us that we should take life. Because in life we live. So in every decision is life and death blessing and cursing. Hallelujah. I pray this day that God will open your heart to receive this word. Amen. Hallelujah. Every decision that we make, it brings 
blessing, it brings causes. It makes us to live better and it can shorten our destiny. Hallelujah. Decision making is an essential part of moving forward. Decision making determine our future. Many of us are still hot now because of the decision that we decided or that we made previous year, many years ago, that is haunting us now. Hallelujah. Decision making affected our spiritual life. Our mental system, our emotion, our relationship, even our finances. How critical it is we need to learn to make a right decision. So I said this to us this morning. God will never interrupt your decision. Either good or bad, God will not stop you. God has given us everything in life to make right decisions. And that is the word of the Lord. The word of God. The sword of the spirit. Hallelujah. But many of us, we have neglected the manual of life. We are working with the world system. And the world system is not guaranteed. It's not truthful. They gather fats, but fat can be changed with pain and a cool of eyes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. God has given us power to make the best decision. By the help of my teacher this morning, the Holy Spirit, I believe strongly someone is going to be delivered. Amen. I'm going to be showing you four areas that is very, very critical in mass life to make right decision. The first one, turn your Bible with me, please. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. But the natural man received not the thing of the Spirit of God. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritual discerned. People of God, please, I'm begging you, I can kneel down for you. No, church, I love you. Make a right decision concerning your spiritual life. Many of us, we are not sensitive to the spirit. That is why we are running from pillar to post. Looking for somebody to give us word of knowledge. Word of wisdom. Hallelujah. When the power is within you, the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That is why many of us we have subjected to doom prophet, fake pastors that now they are merchandise us getting all our money because we are looking for spiritual things which is within us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Get your spiritual life in shape. In Daniel chapter 6 verse 3, they says, 
Daniel has excellent spirit. Even they said that he should not pray. That whoever pray, they're going to dump him at lion's den. It's tea. Because he see himself as nothing without prayer. And now he's not even covering up. He opened the window. Come and see. I must talk to my God. Many of us, when we wake up in the morning, is a signal. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That is it. We are going. There's no direction. There's no word from God leading you to where you are going. That is why many of us have failed. We are not designed. We don't have quiet time. We don't read. Oh, thank God. Baba Billy, Billy Graham ministry. They brought some Bible for us here. Is here. If you don't have Bible, please, after the church, see me. Hallelujah. The problem we have nowadays is our cell phone. When there's no cell phone, many of us will carry our Bible. But with the cell phone now, we want to read Bible, but it's WhatsApp that came up. And when you engross in WhatsApp, you forget about Bible. Oh, it's YouTube. Nigeria movie. Hallelujah. We desire to do it, but we don't have Bible. Our Bible is inside our cell phone. And immediately you carry your cell phone, something will come up. And the Bible issue will be forgotten. Hallelujah. Some of us, when we carry Bible, that is when we want to sleep. It's pill for us to sleep. Before you say, thou seest the Lord, you see the person is gone. Hallelujah. We have got to the era now that you must know your God. Daniel 11, 32 says, it's only those who know God that do exploit. There are a lot of wickedness on earth. It's not that you do anything, no. No. But because they are envious of you, they see what you are doing, they see the grace of God, and they want to cut short. They want to cut it short. Some see that you have a glorious destiny. They want to tap into it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you are not sensitive to the spirit, you will be a mismeat for your enemy. Hallelujah. Turn your Bible with me, please, everyone. Galatians chapter 5, verse 25. Hear what the Bible says. Hallelujah. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. I was telling my wife around 1 a.m. yesterday when we were coming back home. I said, sweetheart, I have vow in my life. I'm not boasting. Nothing can make me sin against God. The only thing that can cause sin between me and God is people. So I always pray that God give me mercy to forgive people. And I've been doing it, my wife been doing it now, it's working. I give excuses to people. Whatever they have done, I see it as ignorance. So I make excuses so it will not mess up my destiny. I don't want any person to mess up my heart, my mind. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So you must know how to walk in spirit. Speaking in tongue. Please, can you give me Jude chapter 1 verse 20? Hear what the Bible says. You need to edify yourself and build your faith. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Not Judges. Jude. J-U-D-E. 
Studio, please. Twenty. But ye beloved, building up yourself on your most holy faith by doing what? Praying in tongue. When you are praying in tongue, it's two things. You edify yourself and you are built up faith because that is the language of heaven. It inspire you to know more of God. And the more you know God, the more you trust. The more you trust, the more you have faith. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. These are the questions that I always ask myself. Hallelujah. Does the Spirit of God have preeminence in my life? Hello? I know when I'm out tune, off tune, when I'm not in spirit, I know. But I have one grace. Something will just say, Victor, what's happening now? So instantly I update myself. Hallelujah. Sometimes maybe I have many things. But it's not that I will not have my quiet time in the midnight. It's not that I will not pray. I pray and I pray with her. I will, sometimes I will pray with her till 2 a.m. We don't have problems. But we are regrouping the power of God over lives. Many people gather against us because of the prayer life. God scattered them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So you need to build yourself up. Be in the spirit. Sometimes they want to do something. You say, oh, I know. That is all you want to do. You say, ah, how do you know? You know by the Holy Spirit. It's better you know. Amen. Praise the Lord. Another question that I ask myself is this. Do you give God his first place in your life? I don't need anybody to tell me that. That is the fight in my house. If I'm going for any appointment, I get there because I don't want to get late. My appointment force is with God. So getting to church at 8 o'clock, I have many things to do. See, people will join me in the church I do a lot. I enjoy a lot. I fellowship. Oh, my rabbi banibi. Appreciating God that me being a pastor. Hallelujah. The service is 10 o'clock. We are not sensitive to the spirit. That is when we take our bath. And we know our journey is almost one hour. Praise the Lord. God have mercy. Do you refuse to compromise on your decision making? No. This is what God says. I'm taking the decision because God says it. And you are standing with it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Do you know what can help you what they really, really, really can help you is James chapter 1 verse 8. It can really, really help us to be in spirit. James, a double-minded man. Hello, can we read it together? One, two, church. A what? A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Oshaka, Oshoko, you are not. We say Jesus, you are not Jesus. Even Satan, you are not giving your life. You're scared of Satan. You can't be in, at the middle. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Upgrade your spiritual life. I just, I purposely, I brought it here, but they said I should take it. We have it again. Uh, what do they call it? The every three, three months uh, daily guide. From the onset of this ministry, we got it. They send it to us free. A lot of them sending a lot of materials to us. Hallelujah. The one that we start in June is here now. We have to be made there. By God's grace, we are going to... Or shall we open this one again now? They will put it there. Just take one. It doesn't cost you anything. Instead of gossiping, read it. Okay, you don't gossip, but they gossip to you. Tell the person, I will call you back. Read it. It will impact your life. Listen to messages. All our messages since from the beginning of this ministry is on Joy Overflow platform. The YouTube, on our website, on uh, what they call this one, uh, Facebook. We have them there. Many people, they wrote us just to appreciate some of our messages. But you are inbuilt. You are part of us. We are, we are the same. We are running the same race. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Know that you can serve God and mom, mom together. Hallelujah. Number two area you need to take critical decision. Third John chapter 1 verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper, be in good aid, even as thy soul prospereth. You must take care of your soulish realm. Your soul. Hallelujah. Your soul comprises three things. Your mind, your will, your emotion. Hallelujah. Your mind is the intellectual realm of your life. That is where you think. Your emotion is your feeling. And your will is your choice. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sound mind is the order of the day now. People say IT, IT. IT is sound mind. If you don't have sound mind, even they are teaching you where you are, you are still working or at work, you will fail. They will know. Hallelujah. One of the easiest steps to fall in life is not developing your soul. Garbage in, garbage out, that is what they say, computer. It's the same thing, your mind, your brain. Many of us, we can't retain because a lot of jargons in our mind. Many are depressed and they can't voice out. I strongly believe this morning that Jehovah God will deliver you. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Turn your Bible with me, please. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Paul was talking. Hallelujah. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable of service. I'm still coming back there later. Hallelujah. Then two. Let's go to number two. Let me talk about this now. And be not conformed to this word, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. 
if you don't renew your if you don't renew your mind, whatever the news is giving, ABC, Fox, that is what you'll be relating. And every news carry fear. There's a bomb here, somebody took pistol here, a gun here. That is all you are hearing. If you don't renew your mind according to God's word, that he that dwell under the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Most High. I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Renew your mind. Let your mind be centered to Jesus. And instead of us to renew our mind, we center our mind to jargons. The news of the day. Hallelujah. Third John 1 11. Belong. Follow not. Follow not that which is evil. Please, I'm begging you in the name of the Lord. There's consequences for it. Don't you know what the Bible says? It says, say it to the wicked, it shall not be well with them. That's a cause. And many, many Apostle Paul says that he delivered into the hands of Satan. That is torment. Uh, Satan to torment their destiny to the end. But that which is good. Train your mind to follow good things, not revenge. If that does good is of God. So, that does evil is from what? Who? And I do not say that too because it's not written here. Hallelujah. He said, it's not of God. Hallelujah. So when you are not of God, you can't be at the middle. There's something I always tell people that we don't understand. Galatians 6, 7 says, God is not mock. Whatever you sow, you will reap. Genesis 8, 22 says, seed time and others shall not cease. There's no evil you do today. That you and your children will not eat it. It is true. It's scripture. It's scriptural. Hallelujah. So every time I plan to do good. I say it anywhere I go. Thank God. I have somebody that knows my mom in and out in the house. The seed of the harvest of my mother. The seed she's sowing. I'm telling you I'm eating the harvest till now. In our house, my mom, she's blessed more than any person. Where there's three wives. People of God, there's nothing in wickedness. If you understand the principle of life, there's nothing in wickedness. There's nothing you do evil against person that you will go scot free. Hallelujah. Do you want to prosper your mind? Let me show you a secret this morning. Everybody turn your Bible with me. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. If you want to prosper your mind, please, Read this verse every day. He says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things that are true, every lie they are telling you, you know. And he made you okay. Immediately, you say, oh, don't worry. I, I, I will call you. I will call you later. 
when I'm talking to you, telling you the truth, uh, oh, sorry, uh, somebody just called. I will call you back. And that is it. I won't talk about it no more. Whatsoever things are honest. Whatsoever things that are just. Whatsoever things that are pure. Whatsoever things that are lovely. Don't hate any person. Even they have done wickedness against you. I still pray for them. If it is not God on my side. Maybe I have gone to the other side. But all their plan never work. So I pray God not to threaten them. But God, let them have change of mind. They will not die in this wickedness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Whatsoever things that of good report, if there be any virtue in it, and if there be any praise, that is it. Whatever that is not glorifying God, don't do it. Don't listen to it. So you grow your mind. Evil things are not coming to your mind. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The third area you need to take critical decision. Second Corinthians, uh, Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. Second Corinthians 6, 19 to 20. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Chapter 6. And I'm reading from 19 to 20. Oh Lord. Please, let me check where it says your body is the temple of the Most High. Is it 1 Corinthians? First Corinthians, sorry, is 1 Corinthians 6, 19 to 20. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Most High, of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not of your own. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. Hallelujah. How do you take care of your body? You know, something came to my mind recently. Many Christians that do not have faith, but they want to exhibit faith. You can use what you don't have. When you tell them about medication, sin doctor, oh, I have Dr. Jesus, and you know, Holy Spirit is in my body, which is my temple. A lady has breast cancer. They advise her to go to the hospital. Uh, she said, you know, uh, CNC is water. It's the water that she consumed and she died. I have another lady here in Baltimore that said, as we are talking. That she has ovary, ovary cancer. She was smelling, smelling. Is a wife of a pastor. Our children cannot live with her. She's here in Baltimore, uh, Baltimore. And she said, God has told me that I will live, I will not die. She fought it with the medication. Because of the medication, after, after the whole victory, she moved here so she can do real diagnosis and do re-check-up, medical, whatever. You don't have 
up the faith. Go and do check up. You don't want to do check up. Thank God you went for check up. They gave you medication and said, no, <laughs> me? I can't put pill. You, do you know the side effect of pill? Doctor know the side effect before they gave you the medication. If the side effect is more than what the medication will give you, they know they have license. This is not Africa. This is America. They guide their license so they will not do any more practicing that will take their license from them. Some of us, it is true, we see our primary doctor, but we never check our eyes. Oh, man, I see clearly, oh, I see anywhere, I see. Some is our teeth. Until when it decay, remove one by one. We will not see dentists. Hallelujah. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. God bought it through Christ Jesus. So the life you are living now is not your life. It's the life in Christ. That is the righteousness we have purchased. That we never pay anything. For. Hallelujah. You see a born again spirit uh, feel the way we dress it doesn't matter the way you are dressed is the way you are dressed we eat anyhow anything goes somebody challenged me a few days ago Papa Kenneth Hagin I was just reading, reading one of his material he said there was a time he chopped up. So he told himself, I'm going to go in three days fasting, asking God, how can I reduce this stature? He said, so the first day he started. And he said, God, this hand God says, Stop, shut, shut up your mouth. Deuteronomy 30, 19. I have given you choice to make decision. If you want to reduce, sit down, think, make decision how you can reduce. He said, he was so disappointed of himself. Because he has told people that <laughs> when I start this, God will show me what. There are some things God will never show you. He will never show me. God is expecting you and me to apply what they call common sense. Engage your mind. Engage your mind. Sometimes I said I want to, I want to, I want to go down. I want to. She knows my father very well. I know two people that is here that know my father very, very well. My wife and my sister here. I bought this thing that when I do it, I will go to toilet more than many times. I still build up. I have a son here. He doesn't eat. David, please stand up, my son. David doesn't eat. He's taller than me and he's now he's getting it. Some is gene. You try everything when it is gene. If you don't do anything, you caution yourself. I went to a party yesterday. I told my wife, you know, I've eaten early. I will not eat anything. When the Amalatasan sang to my ear, I said, God, when am I going to stop all this? Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. It's not that we should not eat. But we should take caution. We should live that we will not be living in sickness. We will not be living in diseases. It's possible. 
we can prevent some things that is happening to our life. But many of us, we don't. Even with this America that everything is wonderful. I was talking to somebody a few, day, a few days ago. I said, when do you do this? He said, what do you mean by that? I started explaining to him. I said, you better call your doctor. He said, okay, I will. Then maybe that, that is the end of our talk. Hallelujah. Please let us take care of our body. Your system needs you. You need your system. I don't want any one of us to go through pains. Pains is not good. Whatever you know that will cause problem to you, please guide it very well. Hallelujah. And the lastly, and I will dwell much with my little experience in healthcare and talking to people every day, being a counselor. Many problems in man's life are caused by man. Hallelujah. Please turn your Bible with me. Romans 13 verse 8. Romans 13 verse 8. Hold no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another has fulfilled the law. Again, turn your Bible with me, please. Deuteronomy 28 verse 12. There's a blessing there that I always convert. Hallelujah. 12 verse 12. The Lord shall open unto thee, Victor, his good treasure. The heaven to give rain unto thy land in his season. And to bless all the work of thy hands. And thou shalt lend to many nations. And this is where I'm going. Thou shalt not borrow. Many always says, is it possible living in America and not borrow? Hallelujah. I can tell you it's possible. Praise the Lord. Discipline in life make man to, to be great. Make decision not to hold any person. Or make decision, let me put it this way, make decision to get out of death if you are in one now. And this morning, God will speak to you. Amen. There are some issues in life that when even pastor talk, hallelujah, he take God. Paul always says, go and check all his ministry. He will say, I Paul, I Paul, I Paul. When you want to talk to the Hebrew, he called God. Hallelujah. You won't see I, Paul, he said God. Because there are some people, they tell you they know more than you. But so we need God to talk to them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What is debt? It's a sum of money owed by somebody that has not yet been paid. Is also an obligation to somebody for their help or kindness to you. That management has to do with controlling issue of debt. The Bible says in Proverbs 22 verse 7 let us read it together. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. Studio, Proverbs 22. Let's go. One, two, three. The rich. The borrower 
is servant to the lender. Every time you borrow money, especially credit card, listen to me attentively, please. I study it, I go to school for it. They give you certain percentage. But they gave you another clause that you will never read. They are so tiny. And after two or three months, they will write you a letter that whatever you have is not valid. We have revalidated what is in your hand. And many of us, we don't read it. Often time, the percentage change. If they give you 29, they erase it. And you will never read it to know what you are working with. It says America is a city where you have to have credit. It is true. But you can have credit and good credit when you don't borrow. Praise the Lord. When I came to this country in 20, 2003, credit card, you can borrow. I started business. I started car business. I got equity from my house, my first house. And the business was booming. I was sending cars to Nigeria. We were living, living good. Never know that Chase, Capital, and the Bank of America, they have raised the interest rate bar. I never know. When I now got money to pay them back, it is times two of the amount that I have taken. All the money that I took then maybe is 20 something. But now they wrote me that I'm going certain amount of money, going to 60 something. So I went to a lawyer, I said, this is a problem. That this amount, he said, you can't win. I said, why? He said, they have written you more than five, six letters that you don't know about. I said, but the letter they wrote, he said, do you read all those tiny things? I said, no. He said, okay, we're going to do something. Arrange to pay ten, them 10,000. 10, so I arranged, I called them. I called the first one. They said I should send it. I sent it. They sent paper that I must declare it with IRS that they gave me certain percentage. I, know, I do not know. I pay Chase, I pay the third, I pay the third one. When I file, already they have filed and let them know that they have given me certain money. The IRS now wrote me again that said, Victor, you owe them certain amount. I said, no, I went to my accountant. I said, I, I filed mine. He said, no. They gave you money, but they do not tell you, but they have told IRS they have given you money. And sincerely speaking, since then, I plan in my life not to hold any credit card. I have only one credit card. When I buy it today, as God delivered by tomorrow, I'm offsetting everything. Number one, it shoots my credit above expectation. Number two, there's nowhere that I want to get loan anywhere in America by the grace of God not boasting that I cannot get it. Hallelujah. Plan to pay off whatever you have. And let me say this to every one of us. They, we have two types of debt. Control and plan debt. That is your mortgage. It's control and it's plan. And if you don't pay it, you become homeless. So every one of us we know that it's under must, I must pay. And even when you finish paying it, you will still going to be paying the taxes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You will pay the taxes forever. Amen. The second one is uncontrolled, unplanned debt. And that is what I want to talk about. Somebody is doing marriage for... Her shy, uh, is or her child, and you don't have money to buy a shoebi 
Why should you put it on credit? Or you said, okay, uh, uh, give me, I will pay later. Now they started asking you. Normally, if you buy things on your credit, maybe it's 29.9. Now you take cash to go and pay that person. It's running to 35.5 to 40. And you are not paying it immediately. As the month run in, another interest rate get it. And now you are saying somebody is doing you. Nobody is doing you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Being financially indebted is a habit or lifestyle won't get into by practice. Don't impress people that doesn't like you. I want to wear, I want to wear it. Cut your coat according to your size. If you don't have today, God will provide tomorrow. I learned something in 1997. In Cote d'Ivoire, I used second, second, grade one, second hand clothes. And I have, well, the day I took my wife to the guy that is doing my shoe, I can't buy imported shoes. So the guy will do it. And most of the two shoe, uh, because I stay with him in the shop, he will do it free for me. When I wash it by myself, I wash foot and I iron it, when I put it on Sunday, you would think it's a designer. That is my level. And I'm not ashamed. In fact, it got to his time, I have two pairs of shoes. And one of them, one guy one came, he came with slippers. And the slippers, you know, the, towards the hand, as, ah, I can't stand it. I asked him, I said, bro, what size are you using? He says, I said, I'm using size 13. I have shoe for you. Jehovah God, you are listening to me. And I said, I will bring it next Sunday. Next Sunday, I bring it, so I only have one. But when I polish it, black, oh my God. You will be seeing your face on my shoe. So don't impress. A brother was telling me, somebody, his husband bought him a car. And the husband said he should be paying 200. The husband, why the lady was so mad is that the husband went to the church and tell everybody in the church, I bought my wife's car oh, and she was so happy. Two months later, he came. He said, you have to be paying two, 200. And the lady said, why should I be paying? You told everybody in the church you bought me a car. So why should I be paying? He said, no. So the man took the car. Corolla. And the man uh, covered, the, covered the car. And the lady get mad. And she doesn't have money. She went to the dealer to go and take Vensa. So let me show him that he took Corolla from me. I'm going to show him Vensa. $980 per month. C CNA. Praise the Lord. You see, there are some irrational things we do that cause problems in our life. We rob Paul to pay Peter. I've done it. I know all what I'm saying. I will take money from this credit card to pay this credit card. I will, after this now, I will see how I have over 15 credit cards. Ask me what I'm doing on it. Now when I get my paycheck 2,000, two, two then I calculate. I just thank God for my wife. My wife is the one paying house rent, uh, paying uh, mortgage, paying everything. But one day I decided. I said, Victor, this is not the way you are trained. Papa cannot hear this and be, be so happy in you. you. They have poured many things in your life. I took the first one, I offset it, I cut it. Put it in the place I always put. 
do the second one, do the third one. By 2014, when I get a good job, when I finish school, God bless me. My first job, I was able to pay everything. Only one that is my wife own. And I hold like 8,000 on that. So I said, sweetheart, don't worry. I will offset it. I offset it. I remove it. Praise the Lord. People of God is hard. But now you see me saying it now. Is people are laughing. But I went through hell. Everything I'm making. Everything that I'm making is going to service credit. Hallelujah. Everything I'm making is to service credit. Hallelujah. Avoid credit purchasing. Learn to pay cash for what you are buying. If you don't have the money, please save towards it. Nobody is looking at you. You are the only one. Every time I look at myself in the mirror, I see how God has created me. Fearfully and what? Wonderfully. It's the comment that I give myself that is matter. Whatever you say is your opinion. He doesn't take anything in me. There's, we don't have two drivers to a car. It's only one. So I'm the one that's driving my destiny. I know where I'm going. Already God has shown me my destination. So I'm walking with God and my teacher, the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me say this before I leave. In life, please, have budget. My wife is the first one. You see, where you, where, you, where you come from, an educated home, and you come from the other, the other side, there are a lot of big differences. My wife always tells me, you need to budget this, let's budget this. I live the way things are. Where I came from, my father never budget. My mom doesn't know what is budget. So I'm not born to, to it. It's not, you know, I'm not ashamed. She redefined me in many areas of life. Now, I sat down and I realized that every plan in life needs to be written down. And specific time, God will make it happen. That is what the Bible says in Abaku chapter 2, verse 2. Hallelujah. Everything you want to buy is appointed time. I won't see somebody riding Mercedes. And tomorrow morning, everything in my head. You know, people do some foolish things. You know what you have in your pocket. And somebody now brought 2023 Mercedes. You said, you went there and touched it. I claim in Jesus' name. I claim in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I know about this fashion. Whatever we have now is for now. Person that have Mercedes 1997, it was raining in 1979, 1979 right? 1997, it was raining in 1997, right? But time and chance, that is the opportunity has gone. We can't compare it with 2023. So if you don't have it in 97, you don't have it in 2021, maybe God has lettered it to 2023. Why do you want to kill yourself? Because God has already given you the, beer, the best, the aroma. But your eyes of understanding cannot see because you are not spiritual. Hallelujah. When I married my wife, I have a car. She's here. I'm boss of my car. I don't die. Woo! When you ride that car, the car will ride you again. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> One day we were going. Is it frog or this thing? He jumped because the, the, the glass of the back cannot, cannot go up. As she was screaming, I said, why are you screaming? It's just a frog. People of God, there's nothing in life that can intimidate me. I have worked with God. 
I know that the part of a justice is like a shining light. Every person has his time. But when you don't waste for your time, you enter into debt and you, you destroy your life. Some people you don't need to dodge. You will be dodgy. You can't go out from the house. Hallelujah. They say, oh, that person is coming. Oh. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going there today. And you know uh, what happened? I have any, another something to do. It's a lie. You don't have any other person. But your lender is there. Praise the Lord. Please. Everything you are looking for is going to come in God's time. And God's time is always what? Is the best. He makes things beautiful in his time. Rise up to your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you blessed this morning? We don't have much prayer to pray. But I want us to pray this morning. Contentment. Contentment is the key. Whatever you are now, that is where your level, that is what God has accumulated for you. Let us pray that God, I will be satisfied by you. God, I will be satisfied by you. Nothing but you, Lord. In everything in my life, I will be satisfied by you. Nothing, Lord. It is only by you. I will be satisfied by you. No more rushing. No more running ahead of your time. Jesus, I'll be satisfied. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Father in heaven, we thank you. Lord, you have seasoned us with your word. Lord, let this word be engraved into our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray in the precious name of Jesus. This word shall not be used against us. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Please, let us prepare our offering and our tithe. Hallelujah. Your offering is your willing offering, willing seed. Your tithe is commanded. I always tell people, be faithful to God.